Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Kalila Rafaela. All right, all right. So, uh, Miss Kalila, uh, what was your uh, affiliation with um, the the Potter's House? I uh, attended the Potter's House for nine years. Um, during that nine years, I was a part of the media ministry in sales. Um, mm -hmm. Angel Food and Tori, the Texas Offender Reentry Program. Okay, so uh, could you, if you don't mind, uh, could you give us like a um, a quick kind of backlog? What is what's you know of a breakdown of each um, ministry? What's the word? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, sales, of course, um, selling product uh, after church, um, selling product at uh, any event, um, Woman Hour Loose, um, Mega Fest. Um, traveling with uh, the bishop or with First Lady Jakes, um, that's what, in sales. Uh, media ministry, uh, cameras, working behind the scenes, um, just uh, the, um, the church is live on Sunday mornings and live on Wednesday. Uh, Bible study so you you're just doing a lot of production it's really production um, preparing um, just to go live um, making sure everything is in place um, Bibles striking mics um, the control room upstairs whatever they need whatever the pastors needs are um, preparing guests to go out front to sing or perform or whatever um, angel food is a program that um, provides food, you pay for the food, and then we distribute it. And so, um, especially during the holidays, people buy extra um, boxes of food to distribute to um, people in need. Um, so I would help with that, volunteer with that. And then also the Texas Offender Reentry Program is a subsidiary up under the Potter's House, and it is a program for people just getting out of prison, out of jail, and we, it's a year program and we just kind of give them guidance on uh, acclimating themselves back into a normal society. Mm, okay, so qu quick question about something you said. Mention, you mentioned uh, about the angel food, right? Um, so with the angel food, was there, um, you said that everybody put money in uh, and then that y'all distributed once everyone put their money in to buy the product, correct? No, you, angel food is, um, it's not, the Potter's House. It is a total different entity um, outside of the Potter's House. Okay. You actually purchase, like, um, it's food that can pretty much last you about two weeks. Um, and they have different boxes. And so um, you actually purchase that and you purchase it for your own, own home. However, during the holidays, we, um, if someone didn't pick up their box, and sometimes people would just buy boxes and um, whatever was left, we would kind of break it down and um, we would give it to a ministry that went out on Saturdays and they would distribute it out to um, a needy family. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, so was there ever, because uh, it sounds like it was more of the the body came together to do things for each other. Uh, my question would be, was there any point or a time where you witnessed uh, T.D. Jakes himself actually helping the body out uh, no. himself? No. So, there was never him actually helping and feeding the people of the church. It was more like y'all coming together yourselves. Correct. Okay. Um I've never even, um, even during the holidays when people would just buy, they would come come back to the back, this is the angel food, and they would come back and they'd say, okay, I want to buy three boxes, but I don't personally want them, I just want them donated. Um, I've never known him nor any person in his family to even donate um, to wow. that ministry. All right, that's, uh, that's crazy. Um so another question, um, you were in the finance department with the media and so forth. Um, was this a position that, was this a paid position uh, no. in the church? No, this was all, everything I did was voluntary. However, when you traveled or if you did a conference, they would give you a per diem per day. Mm. And the per diem would be um, about 40 or $45. And so when you would check in to volunteer, um, you would check in, they would give you a t-shirt, we all kind of coordinated our t-shirts, and then um, they would give you your per diem. Um, 
we would bring, I had to learn, because I would spend my money on food, because that's what they had given me, given it to me for, and then uh, one of the girls schooled me, and she said, no, 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 you bring your food, and you keep the $40, you pocket that, and I said, oh, okay, so I had to learn the first uh, two events that I, I did. So, have you ever personally uh, witnessed uh, TD giving counsel to, to anyone about specific um, questions, or have you yourself received any counsel when you were dealing with, say, your personal finances or any issues or problems that you were going through? No. Um, you will never talk personally with uh, Bishop Jakes. Um, he pretty much talks to people that um, are big donors in the church. Um, Eminem Pat Smith can go in and talk to Bishop Jakes. Um, the Braxtons can come in and talk to Bishop Jakes. Um, Deion Sanders can go in there. Um, but uh, an ordinary parishioner, you're going to see whoever is on duty that day. You will never, um, you will never see Bishop Jakes. You will never counsel with him. That's just something he, he's not, he doesn't have the time. He has other people that can handle that. But you personally, So no. the parishioners, right? Am I saying that right? Explain what are the parishioners like? Who who does that entail? The like specific parishioners uh, are people that attend the church. Um, they also have um, ministers and elders, um, the PMTs, the professional ministry technicians. They don't call them ushers, um, but those are considered parishioners. Mm, so the people that works and do the thing behind the scene for him. They don't even get counsel from the brother. They don't even get no kind of help or nothing. No, you have ministry leaders that you can counsel with, or there's other people that you can counsel with, but no. Um, okay. Pretty much, um, you may, uh, someone on the direct staff, you may can counsel with them, but um, as far as uh, Bishop Jakes, no. You will never know. Not um, unless you have donated a lot of money in that church. Other than that, um, there's somebody in the church that can help you. Mm. So it's safe to say he's bringing more in than he can feed. Exactly. Mm, okay. Interesting. All right. So let's uh, let's move on to the next question. Um, have you ever heard anything of um, someone having to pay to have him maybe appear in a church or shake hands or just to speak with him, having to actually pay or, you know, get red carpeted for that? Oh, yeah. Um, he's not going anywhere for free. Um, his um, fee, I don't know personally. I've heard it to be a uh, hundred. I heard it to be a hundred, about a hundred thousand dollars. They said he wants half prior to him going, and when he arrives, he wants the remaining. Mm. Is that true? I have no idea. That's just what I've heard. But I can tell you, when he travels, he travels with on his uh, personal jet. So. So he has a jet. Yes. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's he has he been had a plane. So, um, and he's had a um, what's the car? That he has um, Maserati. The Bentley. Oh, yeah, Bentley, he's uh, had a Bentley for years. Uh, he was also blessed or given uh, a Bentley, a brand new Bentley, uh, several years ago, a couple of years ago. Uh, pastor Paula White and another pastor from Africa blessed him with a a brand new Bentley. 